ਕਿੰਨੇ ਦਿਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ 8 ਦਿਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਅੱਜ 9 ਦਿਨ ਹੈ 9 ਦਿਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਰਿਹਾ 8 ਦਿਨ ਠੀਕ ਰਹੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਠੀਕ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਨੌਜ਼ੀਆ ਵਾਮਿਟਿੰਗ ਕੋਈ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਅੱਛਾ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਕੀ ਰਹੇ ਦਾਲ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਕਟੋਰੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਖਾ ਲੈਨੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਾਲ ਦੀ ਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿਆ ਜੀ ਖਿਚੜੀ ਖਿਚੜੀ ਦਾਲ ਪਤਲਾ ਦਲੀਆ ਲਿਕੁਇਡ ਮੀਟ ਲਿਕਾ ਖਿਚੜੀ ਦਲੀਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਖਾ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਸੂਪ ਖਾ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਸੂਪ ਅੱਛਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੈਟਰਨ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਜੇ ਚੈੱਕ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੋਣੀ ਫੈਟ ਆਇਲ ਜਾਂ ਨਿਕਲਦਾ ਹਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੈੱਕ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੁਣ ਖਾਣ ਲੱਗੋਗੇ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗੂਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਛਾ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਟ੍ਰੇਡ ਆਫ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟਸ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੇਡ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਲੂਜ਼ ਟੂ ਮਚ ਵੇਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਸਮ ਫਾਰ ਦੈਟ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਸਲਾਈਡਲੀ ਲਰਨਡ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੇਡ ਆਫ say suppose your hemoglobin goes down or your calcium goes down because of the bypass then we might think that bypass is not good mm. on one hand it keeps so many diseases under control on the other hand there are some chances of your calcium or iron going low which i would say is a fair trade off because calcium and iron why it should go low we see this in our patients and it has been like 10 years now only those patients who are not eating balanced diet they will have you know drastically low levels of these nutrients if you are taking a normal healthy diet mm-hmm. do not worry about this in addition to this you should be taking your vitamins and in addition to that you should be monitoring your levels mm-hmm. and if something goes down we can get one shot but practically i have seen in young ladies there are some chances of iron going down and in ladies like you you already have low vitamin d3 and uh, you know weak bones if we see what was your vitamin d3 vitamin d3 was 14 now this is again very interesting vitamin d3 today is 14 and if we check one year later it should be 30 it's ironical gastric bypass should rather cause low calcium low vitamin but that's what we generally see in our patients because now you will be a little bit more concerned about your nutrients and vitamins and she will be taking the pills every day and monitoring it so eventually it rather becomes better because you are regular in taking your vitamins Mm-hmm. So and you lose weight then you start walking then you start going out attending some social functions yeah. and uh, you start g- going out in the sun as well mm-hmm. So these are the things which would help your bones to become better but bones to become better you need to use them you know mm-hmm. Even now your bones are not in a very good shape mm-hmm. if you want them to be like steel you steel. need to put them to use if you put your bones under stress do some workout maybe little bit okay. in gym every other day okay then your bones would need calcium and they will automatically fetch calcium absorb calcium from the blood otherwise by taking these calcium tablets you are just treating the blood reports if you want strong bones you need to put them to use so that they can absorb bl- calcium from the blood otherwise the cycle reverses you know blood will absorb calcium from the bones if you are not using them okay you know, that that is because of disuse so start using your bones then that's what happens after mini gastric bypass once the patient loses weight patient becomes more mobile ambulatory so earlier these patients are just sitting idle so they are kind of shedding their bone bones <coughs> after you know bypass they start moving Mm-hmm. So it's a kind of balance. On one hand, you are losing some calcium because of uh, the bypass, but on the other hand, your bones are becoming better because you're getting out in the sun and you're using your bones, you're walking now. So it's kind of balance. So with a little bit of uh, knowledge, you can actually keep calcium and uh, your vitamin D3 well under control and you can keep your bones in good health. Okay. okay.